Hey everybody, Steve Natchison here. Welcome to another YDF live show. I've missed the last couple of days. It's been kind of hectic um, with business and kind of personal stuff going on as well. So, but I'm back and I want today to talk about the one thing. Welcome to everybody to the show. This is a business, business show, business and social media show. My name is Stephen Aitchison. I'm the creator of YourDigitalFormula.com, which helps people grow their Facebook page, grow their audience, share their message and transform their business. So that's what this is all about. It's about starting a business online, using social media and utilising it to its maximum potential. Now, the one thing that I get asked most often when I'm kind of out at seminars, events, and I get asked on um, Facebook and the messages and stuff and through emails, the one thing I get asked is, how do I start a business doing something I love? Now, you have to know what you love in the first place. It's crucial that you know what you love. If you do something just now, and a lot of you will probably do something, you don't even realise you're doing it. If you do something just now um, that you would do for free or that you do for free just now, you could turn that into a business for yourself if you wish. A lot of people don't want to. A lot of people like to keep things as hobbies. But you could literally turn something you love doing into a business. And I'm talking about any kind of niche that you're in. Whether you like knitting, you could turn that into a business and somebody has and they make a million dollars a year from it. Whether you like cars, whether you like blogging, whether you like writing, anything at all, any topic imaginable, you could make a business from. And I know that sounds easy to do, but you could literally start a business today if you wanted. You're not going to make money from day one. You have to put in the work, you have to put in the hours, you have to make the effort and make it happen. And a lot of people give up after a couple of weeks saying, oh, this doesn't work after a couple of weeks and they just give up then you're not an entrepreneur. If you do that, you're not an entrepreneur. Simple as that. If you're willing to give up after a couple of weeks, it just means you don't love what you do and you're not willing to put in the time and effort to make a business from it. So you shouldn't really be doing it. And that's just being really honest about it, if I'm being really honest. I've been doing this for 10 years online and I didn't make hardly any money, hardly any money at all until around 2012. So I started 2006, 2012 was when I made the money, but I'd done all that stuff for free while I was learning the trade of marketing, blogging, email marketing, everything else, social media, and now it's come to fruition. All those six years that I've done for free has now come to fruition and I've now got a full-time business that's earning half a million dollars per year from it and hopefully it's going to be a million next year and the year after that's going to be two million, the year after that's going to be four. I've managed to double up the last five years on the gross sales income that I received from my business. And you could do that too as well if you really want to do it. But the one thing that you love to do is something you could make a business from. And I'll give you an example here. I've got a friend who, who the, the holiday in Florida every single year, and I mean every single year, they've done it for the last 12 or 13 years. And they go there twice, I think it's twice a year, sometimes three times a year. They've been, they go for cruises, they go to Florida, kind of the parks and stuff like that. If you bear with me one second, there's somebody building work going on in the background. So I'm going to get my trusty window closer. And close that so you're not going to hear the noise. So yeah, they'd go to, Hol um, to Florida two or three times a year. And what they do now... Um, Jill, who I wasn't going to name her name, but what she does, she advises other people how to get cheap flights, how to get cheap kind of entry tickets into the Florida parks, how to get cheap hotels. She advises people on how to do that. She does it for free because she loves to do it. And I mean, she loves to do it. If she could spend all her time just helping people doing that, she would do it for free. And typically she saves people around $1,000 per trip. Now, if you're saving $1,000 per trip, you could make, or if you're advising people how to save $1,000 per trip, you can make a product that's $100, sell for $100, an ebook or a membership site or something, and sell that for $100, and you still save that person $900. And I've been saying to her and her husband, Alistair, for about a, a year, two years now, turn this into a business, even if it's a part-time business, 
turn it into a business, see how it goes, and then give up your full-time job. Because a lot of people think, okay, if I start a business online, I have to give up my full-time job with the corporate benefits, with the pension, the good pension, <coughs> all the health benefits and stuff like that as well. But you don't have to. You can start it on the site for an hour a day or two hours per day, however much you've got to spare. And a lot of people, are gonna, again, they're going to say, well, I can't spare an hour or two hours per day. If you can't find the time an hour per day in your life, then again, this is not for you. But online business is just not for you. If you can't find one hour per day, and that's literally just waking up one hour earlier, go do your work in the morning for one hour, and that's all you need to spend on it. You could do that for a couple of months, see how it goes, and then take it from there. And that's exactly how I started. But I got up at two hours earlier. I used to get up at seven o'clock, 15 years ago or something, and then I started getting up two hours earlier and I wake up at five o'clock every single day and I still do it to this day and I work my arse off, or I did work my arse off, just to get something going because I knew deep down that I could make it. I didn't know what I was going to do at the time, but I knew I loved to write. I knew I loved to kind of research and that's how your digital formula came about. I love to research kind of Facebook, the Facebook algorithms, how it all works, what, what's going to make you get more reach on your Facebook page, how you're going to get more readers, how you're going to get more comments, how you're going to get more shares. I totally love researching all that stuff. So I'm a, a bit of a data nerd and I just love doing it. And I've done it for free for about kind of a year. I just grew my page up to a million likes. And then everybody started to ask me, how are you doing that? What are you doing? So I made a quick free report, gave it to them for nothing, but I still got asked all these questions. And that's when people came in and that's when I had the idea to say, this could actually be another part of my business. I could make a business teaching people how to grow the Facebook page and how to grow their business online. And that's how this all came about. This is how the live show came about as well just by doing something I love to do anyway, and I done it, was doing it for free. And then people said, he's obviously an expert at that. I want him to teach me how to do it. And now at Your Digital Formula, we've got 250 members. 250 members for doing something I was doing for free originally. And these members are willing to pay me to teach them how to grow the page and grow the business online. And that is amazing. And I've done that with my interest in beliefs. So I did a psychology degree at university and I had a, a deep interest in how beliefs were formed. So I made that my passion. I love to talk about beliefs. I can talk about it all day, every day. I was doing it for free. I went to India and spoke about it for free as well. Just everything like that. But eventually I've made a product from that, positivelifeaffirmations.net. That's a product that brings in $1,000 a week. So that's, that's the thing I'm talking about. If you can find one thing that you're deeply, deeply interested in, or not deeply interested, even have a passion about, it could be something obscure like teddy bears. Now, I, I know people that collect and sell teddy bears, you know, the old kind of teddy bears, and they make a living from that. Uh, it could be selling books, and I did that as well. That's how I first started online business, because I loved books, and I found a niche selling signed first edition books. So it was first edition books that were signed by the author. I would sell them for a premium price, people would buy them, and that's how I made my money. And that was my very first business in 2003 when I first started. And that business actually helped me pay for my wedding in 2005 to Sharon. So think of something that you love to do, that you do just now for free, whether it be research on the internet, whether it be finding cheaper holidays, um, doing anything at all, caravanning, um, cars, anything whatsoever, there's money to be made from that niche if you dedicate enough time and put enough effort into it if you want to. So find your one thing. And if you can't find one thing, find out what you're interested in and try different things to get started online. And then you'll soon become interested in it. And you could start a blog from it. And that's another thing I'm talking about as well. Just started, we just um, released a product at bloggersplaybook.com because I love blogging. I think blogging is just amazing. I think anybody could start a business from actually starting a blog. So we're going to be bringing out a product which is coming out this week. There's going to be a webinar this week. And 
I, I just love teaching it as well. And it's just an amazing thing to do if you're into writing or even if you're not into writing, you can start a blog without writing one word of your own and getting content from other places on the internet for free and it's totally legal, it's totally ethical. You can do it, you can put it on your blog and you can make money that way as well. And again, I currently make about $100,000 a year from my blog and I literally spend about 10, 15 minutes a day on it. Sometimes more if I'm going to write a long article that I'm really interested in. But your digital formula and all that side of the business uh, takes up a lot of time. So the blog is a kind of a side kind of business for me. Now I'm going to go to questions. We've got Maria Flynn in the background working and she's going to um, feed me some questions here. From John Sweeney. How do you add the text at the top and bottom of your Facebook Live videos? John, I use a program, it's a software program called Wirecast. So it's called Wirecast, all one word. So if you go to Google, type in Wirecast, you'll find out exactly how to do that. It does cost a bit of money. Um, I think if you buy the premium product, the pro product, it maybe costs five, six hundred dollars. But you can buy the product down from that and still do the live shows like this as well. It's because I do two live shows every day that is worth investing in that software to do that. But having said that, Facebook are going to be coming out with something very soon where you can go live from your computer, just like this. This is actually me um, working this from my computer and a camcorder and a little box set up. But you can go live from your computer and Facebook are going to be rolling that out soon. So you might want to hang off or if you want to start straight away, you can use that program called Wirecast. So I hope that helps, John. From Sadana Shah, whom do you idolise? Whom do I idolise? I've got, there's a few people online that I totally adore. The first one would be Russell Brunson. Russell Brunson has got a programme called ClickFunnels and I've been using it for the last two years and it's an amazing programme to set up your sales funnels and your email marketing campaigns and your affiliate products as well. You can put it all in one place. So I think Russell Brunson is brilliant and he's got a podcast called Marketing in Your Car. And he is just amazing. So listen to the podcast. And then if you want, you can go to ClickFunnels. I'll put links down below. Another one is Gary Vaynerchuk. Gary Vaynerchuk is just brilliant. If you've never seen him, go onto YouTube, type in Gary Vaynerchuk. It's Vaynerchuk. That's what he always says at the start of his shows. And he is everywhere just now because he really gets social media. He really gets it for creating your brand. And the brand is you. And you've got to remember, if you've got an online business, you are a media company. And you have to think like a media company as well. And I didn't really get that until last year, thinking, OK, I'll just focus on Facebook. But now I'm on Instagram, YouTube, Google+, I'm on kind of Snapchat, I'm kind of everywhere just now. Because me, as a brand, is just everywhere just now. And we're kicking that into high gear. Just now we've just hired somebody else from the, for the YDF team. And she's going to be doing that with us as well. She's going to be working on that. So that's going to be really good. Um, so that's Gary Vaynerchuk, Russell Brunson. Um, another person would be Brendan Bouchard. If you've ever heard of Brendan Bouchard, he is an amazing, amazing speaker, personal development and business speaker as well. He's, he's got two sim, uh, things. So similar to me as well, I've got personal development side of it and the business side of it. So I love him as well. And another couple of people, Evan Pagan. He is amazing. He's got just brilliant information. Frank Kern, he's an internet marketer and he's just brilliant as well. He just, he knows his shit. He just knows his stuff and he's brilliant. And he's got an amazing character as well. So there's a lot of people out there that I really, really do idolise. Dion, welcome back to the show. We've got a question from you. Hi, Stephen. Thank you for your energy. Awesome. I love writing songs and creating great melodies. I've never been taught how to do this. I'm passionate, but the, um, but the songs are good. Does this matter? No, if you've never been taught how to do it, but you still know how to do it, Dion, go for it. Just get get your stuff out there. I've, I've told you before, do your Facebook Lives. Then you can put it on Instagram. Then you can put it on Twitter, on Google+. Plus. You can put it on YouTube. Get onto Snapchat as well. Just get your face, your songs, your melodies out there everywhere you can. And then people will start being attracted to you. They'll start... They might... When they, when they first come over you, when, when they first... Um, kind of come over a video from you they go who the hell is this but then when they see you on Facebook and then they see you again on YouTube and then they see you again on Snapchat they'll start to take notice eventually it comes 
It might take a couple of weeks, it might take a couple of months, but you love doing it anyway. So just get out there, get everything online, just put yourself out there if you want to brand yourself. And I presume you do, Dion. So just do it just now, but record it. Make it a live show. Make it a reality show. Just do something that's going to make you stand apart from the crowd. And doing live shows is going to make you stand apart from the crowd. Not a lot of people are doing that. And you, I don't know if you've seen any kind of YouTube videos where you've got gamers on the YouTube videos. All they do is literally them playing a game, as well a shooting game like, um, I can't remember the, COD. Um, so they've got the, the COD game, you've probably heard of just them going through playing the game and how they're playing it. And some of them make millions of dollars per year from the YouTube channel because obviously they're getting advertising sponsors, some of them are EA Sports as well, and they're making millions, but they did that for free totally because they loved doing it. So they didn't even think they were going to be able to make a million dollars, they didn't think they were going to be able to monetize it, they just love doing it. And now some of them are making millions of dollars a year. A million dollars a year, $2,000 a month might be good enough for you, or 3000 or 5000 whatever your figure is. But it just goes to show that you can make money from virtually anything. And you could do that as well, Dion. Um, Karen O'Halloran is saying, how do I start my own blog? Starting your own blog is really, really simple. You need three things. You need your own domain name. You need a hosting account. And obviously you need to get a blog set up. Now, quickly, you can go to GoDaddy.com and they've got something called WordPress hosting. So you can click on the WordPress hosting package and they will give you a domain name for free. And you can set up the blog for, I think it's $4.99 a month or something. And at the click of a button, you can install a blog within two minutes. It's all done, dusted. You've got a blog, you've got a domain name, and all you need to do is fill it with content. And you can get content. You need to write a word if you start a blog. If, it's, if all you want to do is make money, then that's the way to go. If you're passionate about something, if you're passionate about books, if you're passionate about knitting, if you're passionate about anything at all, if, if you want to do that and start a blog in that niche, perfect. That GoDaddy is perfect for that. So go to GoDaddy.com and click on the WordPress hosting and you'll find out all about that. So that'll tell you more. So I hope that helps, Karen. Charlotte Can, can I start a business from making a Facebook page to teach a foreign language? Definitely. There's a lot of people in the Facebook kind of space just now. And that's exactly what they're doing. But some of them, what they're doing, they may be doing it the wrong way. So some of them speak multiple languages. And they're teaching multiple languages on one Facebook page. But if you can speak multiple languages and you want to teach other people how to do it, start a Facebook page for each different language. So start a Spanish page, a French page, um, whatever, kind of all the, all the other languages that you speak. Mandarin, if you want to start that page as well. Just anything at all. But... Have it in different niches. So you can start up six different Facebook pages, for example. And if you've got a product, you can link to the product. But give some brilliant information away for free, first of all, and get your content out there. Don't just keep it on Facebook. Get it on YouTube. Get it on Twitter. Get it on Google+. Plus, get it on Snapchat. Get it on Facebook Lives as well. It could be one-minute Facebook Live teaching word of the day in Spanish, for example. So definitely you can do that, Charles. Where do you start if you can only just work a computer and they're basically tech dumb. Debbie, good question. You have to give yourself a wee kick in the arse and start learning. Google can teach you anything you want in the world. If you want to know how to start a blog or a WordPress blog, type in Google, how do I set up a WordPress blog? And it gives you step by step. Some articles might not be as good as ones at the top are the best ones. That's the ones that's got the most traffic. So teach yourself how to do it one step at a time. So you don't need to teach yourself everything about doing everything online. You, so when you start a blog, you don't need to know about social media straight away. Just do one thing at a time. Do it well and then move on to the next thing. And then when you've mastered social media, move on to email marketing. Then when you've mastered that, move on to creating a product. When you've mastered that, move on to creating sales funnels and everything else. Don't overwhelm yourself. Just do one thing at a time, um, Debbie. So you can literally learn using Google. Google is an amazing tool for that. So I'm just going to see if we've got any other comments in just now. No, 
Right, we've got a, we've got a lot of comments in just now. So if you've got any questions, this was just going to be a quick one. It was only going to be ten minutes talking about the one thing, but as usual, I just kind of <laughs> I havered on, and we got some questions. So that was really good. And um, we'll see if there's any more questions. Lily Wiley saying I love research too, and if you do love research, find out what you love researching about, and if you're good at it, if you know a particular topic, turn it into a business, or turn it into a kind of side business where you start it on the side and then kind of think about doing it full time once that starts bringing in money as well and start a business and expect to make $100,000 a year from the get-go, it's not going to work, it's not going to happen. You have to figure out certain steps, but the first step is actually taking the first step. Strangely enough, you have to take the first step and you have to know what you want to do, you have to know what you love. And when you love to do it and you do it for free anyway, then you could start making a business from it. And Julianne Rutan is saying this is perfect. Sure. Julie, thanks for coming on the show. I really appreciate it. And for there, I'm going to leave it for the moment. I hope that's given you something to think about because we're living in a, a brilliant age just now. We're living in the internet age and we're living in the content age. We're all content junkies. Literally, we're content junkies. Think about how much content you consume every single day. And you prob probably don't even realise how much you're consuming. We're talking about, con when I say content shows, podcasts, YouTube videos, kind of Facebook, kind of images, quotes, Facebook videos, Facebook lives, you're on a live just now, you're consuming content right this very second. So think about how much content you're consuming and you could add to the mix as well. Make your content fantastic that really stands out. So you can do that as well. Anybody can do it. You've got to be able to take the first step and just saying, okay, what do I love to do? I love to do that. I could make a podcast about it or I could do a Facebook live show or I could do YouTube videos for it as well. I mean, you can do that. You can get set up or you can get set up just now within the next 10 minutes. Starting a blog, you can do it within 5, 10 minutes, literally with GoDaddy hosting. So you can do that as well. And, and I'm not being sponsored by anybody. I've not got... I just think it's one of the simplest ways to do it. But any hosting company will have one-click WordPress blog. Do you have any more questions about that just before I go just now? Um, no, no more questions. So with that, I hope it's given you something to think about. And if you love doing something and you want to try and start a business, then think about that. Think about what you love to do. Okay, that's it for now. Have a brilliant day and I'll see you soon. Namaste. Take care. Bye now.